Today I'll be explaining mitosis and meiosis and their differences and similarities. Mitosis and meiosis are basically known as the two ways in which cells divide and reproduce. To start off, mitosis is a process of cell division that results in two genetically identical daughter cells that developed from one single parent cell. Meiosis is the division of cells such as a germ cell that involves two fissions of the cell's nucleus that eventually gives rise to four gametes that are also known as sex cells. Each of the four new gametes will possess half the number of chromosomes as a parent cell. Mitosis has four main phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the cell's nuclear membrane or envelope begins to break down. The cell's chromatin also starts to condense to form chromosomes that are held together by a central centromere. The centromeres will move away from the nucleus and form a spindle. In metaphase, the centromeres of the chromosomes help the chromosomes form a vertical line down the center of the cell that is known as the metaphase plate. During telophase and anaphase, the daughter chromosomes attach to their respective ends of the parent cell and the spindle dissolves and nuclear membranes form around the separated daughter chromosomes. The final stage is cytokinesis, which is not a part of the cell division process. Cytokinesis only marks the end of the cell cycle and is the process by which the daughter chromosomes separate into two unique cells. The two new cells are genetically identical to each other and their original parent cell. Meiosis has four main stages also. They are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the nuclear membrane dissolves and chromosomes help form the chromatin. The centromeres of the chromosomes push apart and create a spindle. Homologous chromosomes pair up and exchange DNA in a process known as crossing over. The paired up chromosomes are called tetrads and they result in genetic diversity. Next, in metaphase, spindle fibers attach to chromosomes, the chromosome centromeres, and pull tetrads in a vertical line down the center of the cell. Next, during anaphase, the tetrads are pulled away from one another, marking, making half the pairs of chromosomes go to one side of the cell and the other half go to the other side. Between the end of anaphase and beginning of telophase, cytokinesis begins splitting the cell into two new daughter cells. The telophase begins and spindle fibers dissolve and nuclear membranes develop around the chrom chromosomes that are now found at opposite sides of the new cells. Uh, major differences between mitosis and meiosis, beginning with mitosis, is it involves one cell division, results in two daughter cells, Daughter cells are genetically the same, um, takes place in all organisms except viruses, creates all body cells apart from the germ cells. Um, prophase is shorter and no recombination or process of crossing over. Um, and meiosis involves two um, successive cell divisions, results in four daughter cells, um, daughter cells are genetically different, happens only in animals, plants, and fungus, creates germ cells only, prophase stage is longer, um, and does involve recombination or process of crossing over. Um, major similarities between the two are parent cells are diploid. Um, both mitosis and meiosis consist of four stages in order of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and both of the processes end with cytokinesis.